the bandili jolanda sale if you like the war of god kramasai <laughs> kramasai um i want you to look in youtube a bandili jolanda sala com you mean that's a website with a lot of videos christian videos a lot of um things for jesus and a lot of them preaching some word of god inside that if you have videos that you want me to put in my site inside this website i'll do it for you i'll do it for you and you don't like the world girl come on my side <laughs> but i'll do it for you oh do you are talking today about the people they talk different kind of language right but i want to talking about people they don't understand the language they talk like uh, when you go to church a lot of people say they spoke in tongue right but uh, sometimes that's not tongue because sometimes people talking in the flesh. You see so many people talking about kuku rako kaka meka kaka things like that. That's not that's not on Tom. And a lot of and I make a joke about the word of God. I make and I make a joke about the language of God. But when God give you language, it's the language from from another um another place. The people that want to stand here in our right is that a lot of people that you see that he be walking in the street or a city talking tongue. I don't know what kind of tongue they're talking, but they say like that. But we have to be careful what are we talking about because it's like a, when you talk language, you talk right here, you say, Um, and you talk like that, um, and you say to fulfill it, say kala mo le mo ba ba u la kala mo le ko ba say kama say. You don't know what you're talking about because it's language that nobody understand. Now I make a joke about language and I say I'm be spoken in language right here now because God does not use me. I'm talking language in here. I just let you know people playing with the tongue of God. And a lot of people they say God is spoken to them, but God is not spoken to them because the way they spoke in the language and don't see God is spoken. They're doing a home flesh, right? So I let you know when you be spoken in God's tongue, try to be communicate with the Lord better. And see when you talk tongue is tongue, not talking in the flesh. Sometimes people talk, talk uh, like to talk tongue is because they are um, let me see. Let me see. They sighting. They sighting. They see many people spoken in tongue and they want to do the same thing. And this monkey follow the other monkey. <laughs> That's what I'm not talking to you. I'm not saying monkey to you. I say me be a monkey to talk to follow another monkey. That's what I'm talking about. And I say you a monkey because don't think in that in your mind. Because I'm not Bangeli. I don't want to be offend nobody. Do you understand what I try to tell you right here in the channel? I be communicate with you. Try to um be blessed with the law and everything had blessed but i don't try to confuse you that you think i'm calling you a monkey did you understand what i'm saying because we are echo and we are our brothers and sisters we love each other did you understand so that's what i'm trying to tell you when you try to speak terms try to say god i want to communicate with you i want to speak new language do you show me how to do it because people in church talk language that i don't understand you don't understand because sometimes people in church um they talk in the flesh they don't talk in um in the spirit do you understand some people say god is using me god and not using them because they do it because they want to um be a, like a clown in front of everybody and everybody say oh this guy is speaking in tongue god is blessing you him right now don't touch it he's the um the the servant of the law and you can't even touch it it's not like that because that's not the way God works, right? And when you want a blessing for the law, you need to be too new to the law, be fasting to the law, and be telling to the law, I want you to um give me the word that I want to talk the tongue, right? I want to have the Holy Spirit because a lot of people in church they don't have the Holy Spirit. They say they feel the Holy Spirit, they don't have the feel they don't have the Holy Spirit because never know what is the holy spirit right and the holy spirit is something like you feeling inside your body it's like a, a fire right like you be burning yourself and you don't know what to do right because god is using you but not a lot of people feel that it's like you be um um 
um, be blessing with something nobody has it in church either. So it's a blessed when God be blessing you in church like that. But a lot of people did not believe blessing like that because a lot of people they do it in the flesh. mean they do it because they see somebody doing it. That you and someone say, I see people like that in church. And they say God's blessing. It's like when you be in church and you be have your microphone and, and you say God is blessing you in tongue and you keep on talking in tongue, tongue that nobody even understand. Tongue that you he can even explain. So you not be blessing in tongue. Because when you talk, another one inside you explain what you be talking in church. That's what I'm saying. So that's why you see talking in tongue is not so easy. You have to be um ask God. For that blessing, it's a blessing because it's a beautiful blessing when God blessing you with that blessing. It's a beautiful blessing like when He blessing with you, the Holy Spirit. It's a blessing from the Lord. I, I love that blessing because God gave it to me. It's a blessing. Not the whole time you be blessing and you be um have the Holy Ghost and the whole and the whole time you be talking tongue. Like I see people they say I be walking in the street or oh, my city talking in tongue because I be walking in the street to nobody gonna do nothing. You sure about that? The devil they don't care about nothing. Doesn't matter you be spoken in tongue. So he gonna kill you, he kill you one time you <laughs> don't play with that kind of devil that devil is very furious to hear me care. And you say what you try to say I try to tell you to turn to to not try to show enough that you talking in tongue that they're not going to destroy you. It doesn't matter. It's if you obey the law and, and then I shut my mouth. Because sometimes you see people, they spoken in talk, but they don't obey the, the law. Why you say, why we don't obey? You don't obey because when God told you, you're not supposed to be walking that way. You're not supposed to go that way because I told you that's not the way I want you to go. And you say, no, because I'm Superman. So I can be passing through here. Nothing going to happen to me and nobody going to touch me. You sure about that? You know those demons hate Christian people. And you know in the street or the city is a lot of people say the Christian people they crazy. And you know it's true. Because I say it's true because a lot of people they don't give you testimony. They fight each other outside in the street. They fight it for things inside the Bible. They're not even living because you're not be about those days. Like I see people and you see in the computer fighting for just about. You don't even living with just about. You don't know who the hell is just about. You don't even know um, those days because you didn't even born those days. And you see people they talking about just about them because they talking about just that they was living with just about the whole life. And you talk, you say what? Yeah, it's true because I've spoken with people. They talking about just about, but they're not talking about just about about the way the Bible says. Sometimes they talking about just about the way that he want to because they like to. Confuse the, the the congregation and everything like that. So God doesn't send you to do things like that. God send you to preach the word. God, the the word God is like a book. It's like a book that you go and open it and you um show the humanity how was was going on inside the Christian generation and show how you be preaching the word of God, not to try to destroy the whole humanitation in, in everybody in the world. No, not like that. And you see so many fight like that because people think they're living what is going on inside the Bible. It's not true. You're not living what's going in the Bible because you're not be living for those days. That was all the old days. So you be living the new days right here. This is the last generation. And you know it's true. And a lot of people, you tell them things like that and they don't believe you. They're thinking you're crazy. When you tell them, listen, what is the problem? Do you try to preach the word of God the way you want to? You have to preach the word of God the way it is in the side of the Bible. So you be preaching like that and you don't have no problems. And people, they don't understand. It's like when you go to the Barton Church, every man in Barton Church is American inside the church. You see none women preaching the word of God. You see men preaching the word of God, right? So they don't have, they don't give you opportunity to the lady to preach. Why they don't give you opportunity to the lady? Because they see some things inside the Bible. They say you cannot let the lady talk in the congregation. You, you have to let the lady sitting down and just hear the word of God, not to try to preach the word of God. That's what they say. But the men go and preach the word of God in the front, and the lady had to be sitting down. So you see, so many apparently. Be preaching the word of God, it doesn't matter what the Bible says because God sent lady to preach the word of God outside in the world. And you know it's true. And you see so many people when you explain that, they say, Oh, you're supposed to obey the law. I say, You cannot tell me 
things that you not even obey because you I be obey the Lord because I be preaching the word of God what he want to because a lot of men they lazy they be sitting out in church doing nothing so lady had to do something right we have to preach the word of God we female it doesn't matter we female we preach the word of God too because we are the lady from God too what is the problem a lady preaching the word of God right we live in a generation the lady can do whatever they want and it's true we have to preach the word of God is something good we're not doing nothing bad when you tell them that to men, men they don't like it because they think that we take advantage of them. We don't do that. We just preach in the world. God. Some lady they preaching better than them because a lot of men they're not preaching the same way. They preach in a different way, but we preach in the world, God, right? And God bless us because we preach the world, God. And you see so many men they don't like it. And so many things inside the Bible that you're not supposed to be doing it, but you're doing it. It's like you be uh, in the adultery and inside the church and nobody even do know nothing about it. But you are adultery because you be doing um um marry and be, you know, have a day with another woman. You're not supposed to have a day with another woman because you are be married. So it's nothing different. You be doing sin inside the church it doesn't matter you see things is not going like you divorce and the bible says you cannot divorce um you lady it doesn't matter the lady do something back to you if you divorce them you cannot be married again and you see people they marry they don't care what they say the bible they don't even care what the bible uh, the bible say inside the bible you know it's true and a lot of people they like that they say things, they're not living it. So that's what I'm telling you. I'm sorry about saying Bible, it's a Bible. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, um, people that are not living with the world, they got, they got one day to live it, right? So when they say, don't divorce, you divorce, right? You divorce, you don't care. You do it because you, that's what, the way you think it. So you marry another woman again, it doesn't matter you divorce the other one, right? So you be doing ad adultery. That's what the Bible say. You are adultery. Well, when you marry somebody else, you are adultery. That's what they say, woman or man. That's what they say. But the people that don't believe nothing like that, they continue doing what they want. And they say, we, we live in the world of God. We're doing the things the way God wants, but it's not true. Everybody's not perfect. The only one perfect in this world is only God because it's in heaven. We have a lot, of, we make a lot of mistakes. We do things with God that don't like it. We do things God that um they don't say us to do it. We may seem sometimes thinking about somebody else bad way, right? Or somebody come to church and is your brother and sister and you thinking about the brother or sister the wrong way because he's, he's, you don't see him about uh, uh, a week or three weeks or something like that you say why was this man what he was doing now you you make him thinking bad about your own brothers and sisters too and then nobody living what the bible said because they live in what they want and you that's why you see the word the, the same way because people want to do whatever they want you see so many people they don't want to serve in the lord people they don't want to love they don't want to know about jesus they don't want to know about god because they want to live in the life the way they want to right and people they cannot you cannot tell them nothing you can talking about the world god you can give us some fire and stuff like that but they're taking and everything but they don't believe in nothing they say they're crazy people from god they religion people that's what they're talking about the christian people they're talking about their religion they're not they're not <clears throat> People from God, they religion people that were living here in the United States of America, right? So that's why you see so many people inside the church never recognize who's the Lord, right? So that's what I let you know about uh, what happened today. Things, you know, it's going on in America and things going on around church in America. Tomorrow it's going to be there Sunday. Bible star and stuff like that. People go to church and you know serving the Lord the same thing they're doing every year and everything you know and continue doing it and doing it. See the rush is coming, they're gonna go and stuff like that. That's what they say because no I uh, saw a lot of people didn't even believe about the rush and the rush here because a lot of people they don't believe. They don't believe, you know. I asked a lot of people that you believe in the rush, they tell me hey, God I wait for God so many years. God even know God gonna come. I don't think so. They told me like that. You know, I say they they how, how you know how faith go away. But that they will take it away. You know what? Because wait is too much. Too much, too much, too much. They take her minds go crazy, right? So God bless you. Um this was Evangelic Jolanda Sala and subscribe to my channel, Evangelic Jolanda Sala. If you don't like the world, God, God bless you. Okay.
This is a boundary to Salah. God bless you in this night. Bless you.